So this is the Honda Foreman 520 electric shift. Um, it's about the mid-tier grade Honda product uh, for ATVs. Uh, they have the, the Rubicon, which is the one higher, and the Tracker, which is underneath it. I do have a 420 as well, Honda product 2016 quad, and, and it's, a, it's a wonderful bike. Um, can't say enough good things about it, but this, uh, this 520 is a fantastic machine. It's a little heavier than the 420, obviously, larger engine displacement. Um, definitely a little bit worse on gas. Push button four wheel drive is, is pretty nice to have. And then once you have the four wheel drive activated, you can put the posi traction on. And with that posi traction, it locks the differentials, uh, which allows you to have obviously a little bit more grip, but in a straightforward line. So uh, this is predominantly used for you know plowing and, and stuff that doesn't require high performance, if you will, because your steering is limited with that function that, that function activated. So um, other than that, uh, I mean, most of the time I drive in two-wheel drive, obviously, just for fuel consumption purposes. And uh, this thing really boogies. I uh, can't complain. It's a lot faster than my 420, obviously. But uh, I don't need uh, I don't need an 800 or anything like that. I'm predominantly on trails, hunting trails, gravel dirt road here. Um, which brings me to the next point being. Uh, the solid rear axle. I don't need independent rear suspension. Um, I like the simplicity, the tide tested and true model of the Honda rear axle. Um, less less components to break, obviously, with an independent rear suspension, and, and I just don't need it. <clears throat> um, the front is obviously the independent suspension. Um, it, it handles really nice. It feels really solid on the road. It does feel a little heavier and solid feeling compared to the 420 um, as it should obviously it's a bigger machine and heavier machine what I really like about these lower gears is you, you don't need brakes at all uh, Honda's got a really good transmission I mean it feels good to me I'm not super experienced with multiple brands or um, whatever but I am a mechanical guy I was a mechanic in my younger years marine mechanic as well as studying a lot of auto mechanics so uh, I've got a good handle on mechanical capability and, and this thing is it's got a really nice differential it slows you right down you don't need to use brake pretty much ever it's even on steep steep inclines so um, the differential is really nice for me the transmission is very smooth to me uh, and I, I have no complaints whatsoever So the Foreman 520 is really easy to start. Switch it on position, make sure it's in neutral. Use your selection because it's an electronic shift. Make sure it's in neutral and the kill switch is in the center. Either way will not allow the engine to start, obviously. That's the start button right there. Really easy. Brakes on, first gear, and we're off. First gear is very short go in a second almost immediately um, you want to release the gas a little bit when shifting and uh, and that allows for a smoother shift now that obviously changes if you're in a super high performance mode which I could get into at any given time um, I put the Rhino racks in the front for shotgun and rifle, obviously, hunting season, and it comes with the stock Honda racks, which have a, I guess it's it's their proprietary brand of Honda products that fit directly on here, but I'm sure you can get aftermarket stuff as well. Um, there isn't much storage other than this 
handy, useless little hole here, and this little pouch, which is, you know, fairly waterproof, but it's, uh, it doesn't really hold anything, so it's, um, I think probably the most useless item on this bike, but, I mean, there's a little storage here as well, as you can see, which has the battery connection there, so if you want to charge, you can. Uh, but other than that, it's a super solid bike. The one thing I will say about this thing that is one of my, I guess, largest dislikes is the turning radius. This thing turns like it's 30 feet long. I mean, it just doesn't turn well at all, especially compared to my 420, it, uh, it, which is also a Honda. Um, I guess it's got a slightly different platform um, so therefore the turning radius really sucks on this one but it's it's like atrocious compared to my other one so um, I mean I can still turn obviously but it's just not the same it's just not nearly as good as the 420 maybe that's uh, again a shorter wheelbase it's got a shorter axles they're stronger I, I'm not sure uh, of the specifics behind it but I uh, just thought I should note that for you Okay, another really interesting thing about this is the way it goes into reverse. Don't mind the pinging, that's uh, me just going for a ride. The heat shields are cooling down now because it's about uh, minus five out here. But flipping into reverse. So let's turn the machine on. I'll get on the machine and we'll start it. Hit reverse. And we'll press down on this red switch here. And on the brake on the right side or on the foot, press down, and you've activated reverse. You can let go of that, and obviously it'll go backwards. Now, I don't have to press that red switch to go up the gear. So let's say I'm in fourth gear, and I just stop. I can then press the red switch, press, press down and it will actually only go from second gear. I just learned something new with you. So from second gear, it'll go all the way to reverse. If you're in third, you'll have to come down. We all learn something together, people. Let's go back in. And we're good.